Did you ever wonder if it would be possible to bring one of these super small plastic models to fly as an RC jet? I do and I really like this and I think this could be really easy to put an EDF inside there. There's just one problem. The EDF is a little bit too big for this. This is a 50 millimeter EDF so you can imagine this jet is just 10 millimeter in span and uh, 10 centimeter in span and maybe 12 long so much too small so we have to find to make it a bit bigger and there's one way and i want to realize this project with the help of this guy the creality cr scan ferret a light 3d scanner and i want to scan it and afterwards print it in lightweight pla put in this powerful edf and bring it to fly not only in the workshop <laughs> out there but I think this could be really amazing. So at first take a look what's inside the box. Oh, a nice little case we got here. And da -da -da -da. a little manual. I think this is it. Oh, this is quite small. This is cool. That's a scanner. That's nice. <laughs> it's just the same size of our jet. <laughs> the scanner is smaller than our jet, but this will be the tool to size it up. Cool, cool. A three pot. I think that's an adapter. Another adapter. And what's in here? Wiring. Got some wires in there. Quality tech and something to keep it dry. That's it. Yeah, that's a cool case. Super small. I think when the scanner is out, <laughs> it's a good case for the small jet. Okay, let's get this thing started. On the small menu, everything is nice explained. Here we got the workflow. Just go to, to the Creality web page, download the software, and then you can start. You got two wires delivered with. This is for your telephone, and the longer one is for computer. I will use it on a computer, and everything is ready. So let's go. And that's the first result of scanning the MiG-15. Uh, we see there are a lot of issues on the tail and also the wing surface is not that good. So I would say it's time for a second scan. But overall, it is visible what it is. Yeah, the tail is quite bad. I was covering the MiG with some um, scan spray, this white film, and also putting a 2 millimeter metal rod on uh, the uh, aft outlet and then rotate it like this slowly and then I try to scan also from the front but there it, it lost uh, the scan so um, I will try again but even after some other tries it stays difficult to scan the small object and after some conversation with Creality I decided to scan a bigger jet like I did some months before with the scan lizard here I scanned a 30 mm EDF jet and did it printed afterwards and now I want to scan a much bigger fuselage of a 250 mm EDF jet and let's see how this will work I installed the fuselage on a clamp now it stands here with a gray background and the scanner I will hold in my hand and let's see what's coming out normal, medium size, extra, high quality, no color and no turntable new scan just take a look that you are in a good distance this is shown here also there are two camera views and this is my very first try scanning this uh, bigger fuselage uh, we can see it in time lapse, six times faster than uh, the origin time. And this works much better from the first moment than scanning this uh, very little plane because the scanner doesn't lose the object that often and also the surface comes out much more realistic. There were some problems on the canopy because it is uh, transparent, but uh, I want to check what happens to scan the inside cockpit and this really works nice. And with this first try, I'm quite happy. But after I was almost finished, uh, there happened a problem. The scanner loses its uh, tracking and made something strange out of the object. So I stopped the scan and did a first review. The program needs some minutes for calculation and also rendering a mesh. But after this, I want to see my first result. 
And here we got our first scan result. It's not bad. You see there was no scanner spray on the canopy. So it scans through into the cockpit. It's no problem. The surface looks really good, but there are still some problems here on these edges. Yeah, the edges seem to be problematic and this was not uh, completed. They, I didn't complete the scan, but for its first try, it's not bad. You can see what it is and I would say do it a second time. This time I scanned with color mapping and you see this is amazing. This looks like the real one. Look at this. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely amazing. Like a 3D photo, without color it is the old view, there we can see more of the mistakes, but it is much better than the first scan, that, but, but on sharp edges there is still a problem, yeah, this is all the time, this seems to be problematic for the scanner, but the inlets are much more accurate, the wing, you can see really what it is. And this was the, the just the second try. So with some training, oh my God, this looks good. Yeah, but here I, I lost it, so I have to uh, stop the scanning. He didn't found it back. Um, so this is all about coordination that you scan maybe just from the top to the down and all the upper side. And then here where it is almost the same, you can start turning. When you start turning on sharp edges like the wing, it is um, getting lost. It, lots, uh, it uh, loses the object. So it is good when your object has some uh, round area where it is easier for the scanner to keep on tracking. Uh, this is, I think, this is cause of the acrylic. Sometimes the acrylic is transparent and sometimes is mirroring. That's why there are the, this, um, this, this mistakes. But at the end, I will use some scanner spray and then um, this is a whole canopy. Yeah, but this is, this is the only thing that has to be more improved. The failures on these um, leading edges. When it comes to more sharp edges, you see when the radius become bigger, it works. But on a very small radius, it's problematic for the scanner. Okay, I would say I use some scanner spray and then go on. While the computer is working, we can take a look on my first try. This little MiG-15 I also tried to scan. This was covered with scanner spray to make it matte. But uh, I think this was a bit too small. I lost it quite often, especially when I turned it around. This was difficult and this works much better on this one. Because you, you can't scan just uh, the upper side or so, you have to scan the whole object. And with this bigger object, he doesn't lose the tracking. So when I was going around, this works. And this was also much more easy. And even if he says he lost, just go back to a position where you already scanned. And it was found again and you can go on without any problems. That's really nice on this new scanner. So now the fuselage is placed in front of the screen and let's see how this will work. A normal object, medium size, textures, feature and accuracy high quality and again color mapping. I really like this. No turntable. Let's go. And now with this clear view of the object and also of my screen in front of me it was much easier to coordinate yourself and keep the right distance and also keep the object in the red lined middle field. But nevertheless, scanning is uh, something where you need patience. This time you see the video um, 12 times faster than originally. So it takes really some minutes and you need a plan where to start, how to go down. The scanner spray helps a lot that the object doesn't get lost. And I figured out that it is easier for the scanner when you have flat surfaces in front of it. Uh, much, much easier than um, like the top, the top nose, that it gets easily lost. So um, then I jump back to the back of the fuselage and also the scanner gets the tracking back. And so I figured out more and more a system how to use it and how to deal with this object. So here I got the 3D scan spray. This is just a, 
a film like dust. You can easily remove it and I will use it for the canopy and also for this trailing edge here, this leading edge. See it becomes a bit white. This makes it easier for the scanner to cover it. So let's take a look at the next scan. First in the color view. And we see this is absolutely awesome. Quality is much better. You can see the full model in 3D. Also the, the nose is not bad. And now with no color, oh, it's also quite nice. Yeah, and this is the canopy with this um, scanner spray. This time completely as solid body but still these inaccuracies on the on this uh, leading edge and here he starts to make some problems that's why I uh, stopped the scan but nevertheless yeah this the nozzles are also a bit strange looking but it's getting better and better and this is just uh, the third scan I ever done with the scanner yeah I'm really happy with this front section of the fuselage is quite good. Here's the area where normally was a was a hole inside and this was good covered. Good. When we go back to color, can we take a look inside? Yeah, then we can see uh, take a look inside. So for 3D modeling just to visualize something 3D, this is amazing. And yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, but you can also see these inaccuracies here on the nozzles. This seems to be problematic. Edge the edge here is not that bad. It's also it's not that uh, sharp like it is on, on the original model. Maybe this has to be a bit rounded. Do the next scan. This time I completely covered the the fuselage with the scanner spray. Colored view. I think it's get even better. Better and better each time. Also this nose area seems to be not that strange. Okay, we see there is still um, there is still a mistake in the scan, but it doesn't look that strange. So sharp edges are still um, a problem for the scanner. I think I have to be a bit faster that I don't reach the uh, maximum of separate scans that was reached this time. But look at the surface. The surface is phenomenal. I'm super happy with this. So the scan spray really makes sense. Even the nozzles, yeah, here we got sharp edges and there's a mistake again. I think I should put some styrofoam inside like this. This is not such a super sharp, uh, um, sh super sharp edge and this looks more accurate even here. So a small radius is needed all the time. But with, with a bit training, they are really nice results possible. Even when we look at the colored, the colored um, scan, this is really good. I think on the to make it possible go around sharp edges without losing the object. But then this is a really nice tool to make 3D objects uh, visible, 3D visible, and also make it easy for for uh, printing afterwards. So I would say stay tuned. Um, I will go on testing it and keep you up on date with the next results. So have a great day and see you on the next video. Bye bye.